Welcome to a proof of the derivative of f of x equals e to the x. We'll be using the limit definition of the derivative to prove the derivative of e to the x with respect to x equals e to the x, which is really quite amazing. This function is its own derivative. So to begin, we'll apply the limit definition of the derivative. So we have the derivative of e to the x with respect to x equals the limit as h approaches zero of, for f of the quantity x plus h, we would have e raised to the power of x plus h, and then for minus f of x, we have minus e to the x, and all this is divided by h. Now for the next step, we're going to use a property of exponents to factor the numerator. Well remember, when we're multiplying the bases of the same, we add the exponents, and therefore e raised to the power of x plus h is equal to e to the x times e to the h, and therefore we have a common factor of e to the x in the numerator. So if we factor the numerator, we would have the limit as h approaches zero of e to the x times the quantity e to the h minus one. Let's just check this by distributing. e to the x times e to the h is equal to e to the power of x plus h, and then we have minus e to the x times one, which would give us e to the x. And now because we have a product in the numerator, we'll write this as a limit of a product. So now we have the limit as h approaches zero of e to the x times the quantity e to the h minus one divided by h. And now because we have a limit of a product, we can write this as a product of limits. So we have the limit as h approaches zero of e to the x times the limit as h approaches zero of e to the h minus one divided by h. In this form, we can evaluate both limits. The limit as h approaches zero of e to the x is just equal to e to the x because e to the x is not affected as h approaches zero. And then for the second limit, we have the limit as h approaches zero of e to the h minus one divided by h, which we proved earlier is equal to one using the squeeze theorem. So we have e to the x times one, which equals e to the x, and therefore we have our proof. The derivative of e to the x with respect to x equals e to the x. Before we go though, let's look at this graphically f of x equals e to the x is graphed here in blue, and we have the tangent line graphed at the point one comma e. Because f of x and f prime of x are both equal to e to the x, we know the slope of this tangent line is equal to the y coordinate function value of e. e is the function value and the derivative function value at x equals one. So if we were to select any point on this, so if we were to select any point on f of x equals e to the x, the function value would also give us the slope of the tangent line at that point. For example, if we selected this point on the function, where we can see that the y coordinate function value is six, the slope of the tangent line at this point would be six. If we selected this point on the function where the y coordinate function value is one, the slope of the tangent line at that point would be one. And again, this is because f of x equals e to the x is its own derivative. I hope you found this helpful.